This is the J-Craft 21 SS. If you're feeling nostalgic, you should be. One thing that hasn't really changed is this classic low profile look, because when you knock it out of the park with the Porsche 911, you really don't have a lot to change to get to the 992. And this baby really is like a sports car ripping down the highway with the top down. In the old Jays, the ski pylon was bolted to the middle of the floor, which posed a few problems, not the least of which was it got in your way if you were trying to sit in the back seat. Now you can see the pylon is integrated into the hull right up through the transom, so you can still sit four people on this aft bench, even while you're taking somebody skiing or tubing. In the classic configuration, the driver face forward, the spotter face back. Now this passenger seat swivels and locks, so you can face ahead when you want to, or aft when you've got a skier in tow. Ooh, you know that feeling when you first sit down in the driver's seat of a Lamborghini? Well, me neither, but I can imagine this feels a lot like that. Let's take this baby for a spin. And as far as time to plane is concerned, well, there really is no time to plane. You hit the throttle, there's a bit of bow rise, but then it's right back down. This thing jumps right up on top of the water so quick. Perfect for pulling up a skier or even a barefooter. This thing's rated for up to 250, but even with that 200 SHO VMAX, this thing is humming. The Speedo Max is out at 50 miles an hour. I have a hard time believing I wasn't going closer to 60. The hull is so well designed to ride flat on top of the water, and that's why you get such a small wake for skiing. There's two skegs up the center line, and those things bite right into turns like you're in a Formula One car cornering at Monza. You can put this thing right up on its side at high speeds, and you just feel locked in like you're on a track. It is absolutely incredible. Still, they're a ton of fun because you're basically sitting on the floor of a flat bottom boat. And in the old ones, you really were. I got to commend them for the ride comfort in these new designs. The seat's propped up a little bit more. It's a comfy ride. And you're not going to find much that can barefoot like this thing for the pure fact that most ski boats can't do the speed that this thing does. These are fantastic in the right water. Even with a little bit of chop, there's virtually no wake at high speed. Probably wouldn't want to use this on big water. But as a hardcore slalom boat, maybe a small lake cruiser, this is an absolute blast. I feel like somebody took two hooks and just hooked them onto the side of my mouth. I just can't stop smiling driving this thing. All I can say is I hope the new J-Craft sticks around for a long time. And if they're building boats like this, I see no reason why they shouldn't.